hello everyone. Uh, this is Puptile. Uh, we are from TIJ Tech Butanla. Today I'm going to inter introduce you uh, introduce to you animation. I will introduce with the animation. Uh, first of all, what is animation? Animation is an illusion of movement created by a swift motion of frames or pictures, still frames or pictures. What that means is, like, especially in 2D animation or traditional animation, the animator has to draw frame by frame. For example, like, <clears throat> If we put this image, uh, individual image in uh, each frame, and then we play, then it's uh, produce and motion. And this you this will give you the uh, illusion of movement. And the next thing is the type of animation. So there are five types of animation. First is traditional animation, 2D animation, 3D animation, motion graphic, and stop motion. Now, what is traditional animation? Traditional animation is also called as cell animation or hand-drawn animation. What's the process of used for most animated films in 20th century, the individual frames of a traditional animated films are photographed of drawings. To create an illusion of movement, each drawing differs slightly from the one before it. The animator's drawings are traced or photocopied into transparent estate sheet called seals. That's why, like, sail animations came from, uh, which are filled with paints in assigned colors, and then complete character sails are photographed one by one. Uh, great <coughs> motion pictures. La. And 2D anim animation can be done in. draws on ones or draws on twos. La. Example, it's like this. La. Uh, I have done this in draw on twos. La. Because in draw on twos, it will give you the smooth animation. And it's most for to show smoothness of an animation. La. If we have to draw in once then animation will be kind of jittery or kind of secular. <clears throat> That's why like if only we have to do something like speed motion, then it has to be drawn on draws on one's law. But it can depend on animators animators la, how they want to do it. Now, secondly is 2D animation. Most of the people are confused with the 2D animation and 3D animation because 2D animation is also uh, similar to the traditional animation. But what the difference is in 2D animation, uh, the animation, it's a method that it manipulates the moving image, uh, image, and <clears throat> it is done in digital. In traditional animation, the animators have to draw physical in physical paper with a pen, and in two D animation, animators can easily. <clears throat> uh, do on digitally 
because it's uh, efficient way and in 2D animation which can we can build a system on bones that can manipulate it a, like a 3D rigged animation. We can able to rig with the bones. Now here, 3, 3D animation. 3D animation is digitally modeled or manipulated by an animator. The animator use starts by creating a 3D model or polygon, polygon mesh to manipulate it. A mesh typically includes the vertices that are connected by edges and then faces, which gives the visual appearance of form to a 3D object or 3D environment. Sometimes the mesh is given an internal digital <coughs> skeletal structures called an amateur that can be used to control the mesh by weighting the vertices. The process is called rigging and it can be used in conjunction with keyframes to create movement or to do animation. If we go to fourth type of animation is motion graphic. Motion graphic focus on making dynamic, interesting presentations of text logos and basic illustrations. Motion graphics can be done in both 2D and 3D. You can find them anywhere in the commercial like uh, movie introduction, TV production, and commercial advertisement. These are all types of kinds of motion graphics. And now lastly, but not the least, uh, uh, it's stop motion. Stop motion is a technique in which involves manipulating real world objects. These objects are moved slightly and photograph one at a one frame at a time. When chose to sequence these frames, created create the illusion of movement. In stop motions, there's five. And four, I think there's many types of um, stop motion animation, but I will briefly describe only the kind of main four stop motion animation. First one is clay, clay, clay mission. Clay mission is, is used to create a puppet with the clay. Actually, it's not a clay, it's uh, called known as plasticines, which is, it's a kind of toy that a kid used to create out of Hitler. And it can be create uh, models by using skeleton type bones, like, Thin rods and all. And second thing is puppet. Puppet animation is using an actual puppet for animation. The expressions shown can be rigged and manipulated by the <clears throat> situation of the scenes. And the third one is silhouette. Stop motion. Silhouette stop motion is same like uh, cut out animation, which like if we have draw in a some kind of cardboard or paper and shade it with black, total black, and this this is the most 
one of the oldest stop motion animation. Now, fourth one is pixelation. Pixelation stop motion is an animation. It uses an actual human to create the movement. Now, the two principles of animation is by Frank Thomas and Oli Jonathan. The first one is stretch and squash and anticipation, staging, straight ahead and post to post animation, follow through and overlap action, slow out and slow in action. And then arc, secondary action, timing and actuary action, solid drawing and appealing. Now, stretch in squash. When an object moves, it moves indicate the rigidity <laughs> of the object. Many real world objects have little flexibility, such as furniture. However, most organic objects have some level of flex flexibility in their shape. Also, squash and stretch is useful in animating facial expression. It is used in all form of character animation, from a bouncing ball to a body weight of a pers person walking. In stretch, in squash and stretch, In stress and scars, we <clears throat> tend to exaggerate kind of thing because it shows rigidity of the object. For example, if a ball, if a tennis ball is thrown from a second story building, then it will bounce back many times because if if there is more stretching scars to a ball, then it shows that the ball is soft. And if the stretching scars doesn't happen in a ball, then it shows that the ball is made out of rock or metal. Anticipation. An action occurs in three parts the preparation of action and the action itself and the termination of action. Anticipation is the preparation for the action. Anticipation is an effective tool for indicating what is about to happen. A boxer does not just hit the punch back. A backward motion occurs before the motion action is executed. Backward motion is the anticipation. The three part of anticipation is <clears throat> this is the like, pre action. And if when he throws the punch, and that's the actual action, and this is the last stage of anticipation. Uh, anticipa anticipation can be <clears throat> in multiples done in multiples ways. One is one is first <clears throat> he just I'm trying to show one action. Second, then ca there can be two actions. First, uh, first he can. Bow down, and then he does the secondary. Anticipation. And then on third is execution of the action.
No, stitching. Stitching is the presentation of an idea so that it is completely and unmistakably clear. A pose or action should clearly communicate to the audience the attitude, mode, reaction, or idea of the character as it relates to the story and continuity of the storyline. The effective use of long, medium, or close close up shots, as well as camera angles, also helps in telling the story. Do not confuse the audience with too many actions at once. What it means is, what this teaching means is, uh, we cannot confuse the audience with multiple options, scenes, actions in a particular scenes. For example, this can be the stitch. If a person walks from there and comes to us here and there's banana peel, for example, and if he slip off bananas, and some of the audience or laughing at the <clears throat> if you add all the scenes all the actions in together the walking of the person laughing of the people then audience will be competing for the scenes which which one to look first. So that's why in staging, we should not confuse the audience with many actions in a particular scenes. The stitch directs the audience attention to the story. Uh, care must be taken in background design so it isn't obscuring the animation or computing with it due to Access detail behind the animation or compute, competing with it due to excessive details. Be, details behind the animation. What that means? If the character is poor, then some, some props has to be taken out, like television, sofa seat and etc. Because he's a poor man, he cannot afford to buy television and luxury sofas to have it so that this kind of animation can like give the clear out of to the audience that what kind of status is that with the character. <laughs> And the background and the animation should work as pictorial unit in a scene. Second, so straight ahead and post to post animation. These are two different approaches of drawing process. This principle can be especially implemented in a 2D animation or traditional animation because it's mostly used to with the drinks. Straight ahead action scenes are animated frame by frame to the beginning to from the beginning to the end, while the post to post involve starting with drawings a few key frames and then filling the intervals later. Straight ahead actions 
create a more fluid dynamic illusion of movement and is it is better for producing realistic action sequences on the other hand it is hard to maintain proportion and to create exact convincing post along with the waist the post to oppose works better for dynamic emotional scenes where the composition and relate to the relation to the surrounding and greater importance <clears throat> now follow through and overlap in actions when the more main body of the character stops other parts continues to catch up the main mass of the character such as arms and long hair cloth coat tails or a dress fluffy ears or a long tail this follows the path of action if for example <clears throat> it a flag if a flag if we if we wave a flag from right to left then first the actual flagpole will be moved first and then the flag will be following the will follow the pole that's the example of uh, over follow through and overlapping because the pool is dragging the flag that's known as follow through uh, and nothing stops at all this is follow through and overlapping is when the character changes direction while the cloth or hair continues forward uh, as i said the flag when if the flag pull stops reaching the left hand side then flag itself will go will continue to go forward and the character is in a new direction to be followed the number of frames later by his cloth or the new direction overlapping maintains a continual flow between whole phase of phases of actions now we have slow out and slow in slow in and slow out and slow in deals with the spacing of in between drawing between the extreme poses and action starts we have more drawings near the starting point one or two in the middle and more drawings near the post fewer drawings makes action faster and more drawing makes the action slower slow in slow out often the action making it more lifelike arc all action with a few exceptions such as animation of a mechanical de devices follow an arc or slightly circular path this is especially true of human figure and the action of animals arcs give animation a more natural action and better follow all arms movements hit turns and even eyes movements are executed on arc arc are used extremely in animation since they create motion that is more expensive and less stiff than action along a straight path
Now, secondary action. A secondary action interests interest in adding to a realistic complexity to animation. This action adds to and enrich the main action and adds more dimension to the character animation, supplementing or reinforcing the main action. Now, timing. Timing refers to the number of drawings or frames for an action, for a given action, which translates to the speed of the action on frames on a purely physical level. Correct timing makes object appears to obey the law of physics. For instance, an object weight determines how to react to an impetus <clears throat> like a push. As a over lightweight object reacts faster than a heavier weight one. Timing is critical for establishing a character's mood, emotions, and reactions. It can also be a good uh, be a device to communicate aspect of a character personality. Now, acceleration. Acceleration is not extreme distortion of a drawing or extreme bot. Violent reaction all the time. Violent reaction all the time. It's like a a caricature of a facial expression. If facial features expression uh, expressions, poses, attitude, and action, action traced from live action, film can be accurate but stiff and mechanical. In feature animation, a character must move more broadly to look natural. For example, if the person is sad, we have to make sadder. If the person is happy, make happier. And the person is excited, make more excited. Uh, the animation, the sum, the same is true of the of facial expression, but but the action should not be as broad as as in the short cartoon style, like Tom and Jerry. In Tom and Jerry, we can see lots of like exaggeration, starting from in facial expression and the explosion of the object. Uh, exaggeration in a walk or an eye movement, or even a head turn will give your film more appeal. Solid drawing. The basic principle of drawing form, weight, volume, solidity, and the illusion of 3D applies to animation as it does to academic drawing. The way you draw cartoons, you draw in a classical scene using pencil sketches and drawing for reproduction of life. This transform this into colors and movement given to the characters, the illusion of the three, third, three and a four and four dimension life. The three dimension is movement in space and four dimension is movement in time. And lastly, we have Appealing. Uh, appealing is a <clears throat> cartoon character cor corresponds to what it would be called charisma in an action. A character who is appealing in not necessary sympath sympathetic villains or monster can also be 
appealing. The important things thing is that the viewer feels the character is real and interesting. There are several tricks for making the character connect better with the audience. For likable characters, a symmetrical or particular baby-like face tend to be effective. A complicated or hard to read face will lack appeal, appeal in the composition of the post or character design. If you want to make character appeal, then we have to do with this. We can add less detail and more in more dynamic music, and this can make character more appealing. And and this is the end of the today's lesson. Thank you.